Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create the recovery partition. Now, this recovery partition is a partition that you can boot into to perform any diagnostic stuff related to boot issues of your operating system. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to create a recovery partition, first of all, we need to create a partition for that. So just right click and I will click on shrink volume. And the recovery partition should be at least 600 megabytes. So what I'll be creating is one gigs. So 1024 is one gigabyte. And click on shrink. And then we'll be creating this partition, creating as a simple volume. And I don't want to assign any drive letter to this and format it as NTFS. Let's name it System Reserved and click on Next. Finish. Okay, so we have created System Reserved Partition and we need to store the recovery image over here. On my machine, I have already disabled it and once you disable the recovery environment, you're gonna find that recovery image located in C drive Windows, System32, Recovery folder. In this, that file is hidden. I just need to switch on. So just don't hide the files and don't hide operating system files. Click on yes. Okay. And then you can see that we have winre.vim file sitting here. In case if you have recovery enabled it's gonna be sitting in some other location it may be sitting on the same partition c drive and c drive recovery folder so you might need to disable that so going on to command prompt open command prompt as administrator and when you do reagent c forward slash info is going to show you whether it is enabled or not if it is enabled you just need to disable it so what will happen is once you disable it from wherever it is sitting it will come back to this location over here and then you can again enable it now for enabling it again what you need to specify is that that the new recovery environment it should go over here not over here so for that thing to happen this recovery partition should have a particular id by default the partition they have id in case of mbr partition style like if i go over here properties i go to volume and you can see this is mbr partition style mbr partition style they have ids in integers and in case of GUID partition table in case your windows is installed in uefi mode they will be in GUID. So I need to assign the ID. So ID over here in hexadecimal number system, it should be 27. So I need to go to this part. Over here, if I do list disk, I have the first disk that is disk number zero. So I'd say cell disk zero. So the zero is selected. And if I do list partition, and it's gonna show me the list of partitions. So we are interested in modifying the ID of this partition. So I will say select partition three. And now if I say detail partition, it's gonna show me the details. So currently the ID of this partition is seven and I need to modify it. I'll say set ID equals to 27. So now what will happen is when you enable the partition is going to scan all the partitions and it's going to look for any partition whose partition ID or partition type is 27. Again, if I show you uh, detail partition, you can see that it is showing as 27. So if the partition ID is 27 is going to copy that recovery in that partition. If it doesn't find any partition with ID 27, it's gonna copy in C drive recovery folder. So I'll show you there. If you go to C drive recovery, so if you don't have any partition with partition ID 27, it's gonna land here. So I have enabled it, set the partition ID to 27, and now if I enable it, I exit out of this part, 
and I say reagent C forward slash enable and it is enabled successfully okay it has been enabled successfully now if I say reagent C slash info and now you can see that it is sitting in partition number three and this is that partition so this is how we can create the recovery partition and copy that recovery image inside that recovery partition so now if I show you if I restart my PC into recovery environment by holding shift key and click on restart and I say troubleshoot and advance and let's say I want to go to command prompt in the recovery environment so it's gonna reboot into the recovery environment and take me to the command prompt okay so you can see that I have landed into the recovery environment so that's how we create a recovery partition hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video